What's up guys, and welcome to part 8 on how to create your own Android launcher slash home screen application. Over the past week, I've been working um, a lot on Lucid Launcher, which is the product of my work, and it is finally in beta mode. So, if you would like, it would mean a lot if you would check that out and tell me what you think. Now, last... Last video, we made it so that whenever you held down on an icon, like I'm going to do on the settings, that it would put it onto the home screen. But from there, we that's all we did. And after that, once it went onto the home screen, uh, you weren't able to click on an app and launch it. Because we had this we added a check in there to make sure um, that whenever you held down on it and you released that it wouldn't um, launch it when you're doing a long press. So it added it onto the screen but you weren't able to move it around. So in vi this video we're just going to make it so whenever you touch it you can just move it to wherever you would like. Um, so this is just going to be a very short little part to the tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing um, is to open up your main activity. And we are going to make it so that uh, you'll be able to launch the icon or launch the application in the drawer after you put it onto the home screen because of the check that we added. So what you need to do is just go to on create. Underneath set packs we could do sliding drawer dot set on drawer open listener. And then we do new on drawer open listener because and then can do control shift O to import because we know that um, whenever we open it they should be able to launch it and whenever it whenever you hold down to move it onto the screen and it closes it disables it so we need to enable it once you've opened the drawer so what we did, we just had this little boolean called app launchable. So we can just change that right here. App launchable equals true. There. That was simple. So all we did is make it so um, whenever it opens, it will be launchable. Alright. Next, we need to make it so we can drag the icon around on the screen. We are not going to get into the long cl click for it and as well as launching it yet. So in the drawer long click we can go into that and then we can create a new class. So go into new and class and we could just call this app um, touch listener and just click finish and then since we're doing a touch listener we can implement on touch listener and then we need to add unimplemented methods and then in the on touch we can do a switch case so switch and we can do event dot get action so this is going to be our switch case but first let's create a constructor so we can just do app touch listener and then we can 
we're going to have to pass one thing into uh, this listener for now and that would be the size of the icon so we're just going to make an int and call it size or icon size all right and so we're going to have to pass in the icon size so int size and then we can just do icon size equals size okay so now that we we have that passed in we have the constructor set up we can make it so on long click it will add the touch listener since this is where we're also adding the view which is the linear layout so we can do ll dot set on touch listener and our touch listener is called app touch listener so new app touch listener and size we can do ll dot get width the size it's just going to be the same for the um, width and height and then for the touch listener we can copy a few things into it so we have layout parameters and for the margin and that's all we need to copy so do uh, copy that I'm using control C and inside of the motion event we can do case event dot or motion event dot action down or just do action move for now so whenever it moves we need to make it so that it detects where your finger is and it moves it to wherever your finger is so we can just paste what we had into it and instead of item dot get width and height we can just change them both to icon size okay and then for left margin we can do we need to get where our finger is located so we do event dot get there's get x and get raw x um, get raw x is the actual location on the screen and get x is a little bit different I'm just going to use get raw x and then since if we're doing this it's going to make the icon go to the right of your finger but we want it to go to the center of your finger so we can just simply subtract um, icon size divided by 2 and the same thing for the top margin we can just do event dot get get raw y and we can just subtract icon size divided by 2 finally we can um, set the view to the layout parameters so our view is V so we can do V dot set layout parameters and LP alright so I believe that is it so let's test it out to make sure And by the way, this is the Lucid Launcher that I have created. Okay. 
So here it is. Um, whenever I lift up the handle, you can see that uh, you can hold down. It's going to add it to the home tree. And now you can touch it, and it's not working. The reason it's not working is because... So there's a couple of things that we needed to change. Uh, the first thing we need to change is instead of returning false, we need to return true. And the second thing is when we are passing in the um, width, instead of what we're doing, ll.getWidth, we do item.getWidth. And this way, um, it will send in the right width because before that it was sending in the linear layout width but it didn't have time to actually get the width of it because it didn't set up the linear layout fully so after you've done that it should work just fine you should be able to hold down on the app it will put it onto the home screen and then after it's on the home screen you will be able to touch it and move the icon around and that is all we are doing for this video. Thanks.